to my story hour. Um, today I have a special guest. His name is Sunshine. Oh, he bites right down while he tries to get the prices. But anyways, we're going to be reading Jane Lee Jones and some Sneaky Peaky Spine Chapter 7. We're not playing anymore. Chapter 7, Sour Grits. Principal called... You got feathers in my ear. Principal called... Principal called Mrs. to come to his office. Only I didn't you... Hello. Only I didn't even, even know he was going to do that sneaky thing. This is how come I had to pull my skirt way over my head. Or else Mrs. would see me there and she wouldn't know I... Or else Mrs. would see me there and she wouldn't know I I tattletailed on her. Don't do that, said Principal. Yeah, only I'm allowed, I said from underneath my skirt. Because I have on my new red tights and also boxer shorts. After that, Principal went, went out of his office and I heard... My teacher's voice out of out outside the door. Then, then I quick got down from my big wood chair and I hid it under Principal's giant desk because I was scared of what was going to happen. That's why I stayed quiet for lots of minutes. Then I heard feet come back from from the office, and, and so I made my my breath very quiet. Junie. Junie B. Jones, said Principal. She might be hiding, said Mrs. She's good at that, you know. And so just then, I had to think of some... Oh, yeah, picture. That's Junie B. hiding under the desk. And that's Principal and Mrs. Yes, Sunshine, I see your butt over my face. So then I had to think of, of something very, very quick, or else they might come looking for me, I think. Yeah, only Junie B. Jones isn't hiding, I said in a scary voice. Oh, uh, she did. Yeah, only Junie B. Jones isn't hiding, I said in a, in a scary voice. Junie B. Jones had to go home. I don't call her mother, or else she'll get mad at you and crack your head open. <laughs> <laughs> After that, feet rolled real fast around the desk. It was Principal. Come out of there right now, young lady, he said. I peek my eyes at him. Shoot, I said very quiet. Then I had to sit in the big wood chair again, and Mrs. sat down next to me, except for I didn't look at her, or else she might be making a fist at me. Good afternoon, Junie B., she said in a nice voice. I need a gulp. I think you and I need to have a little talk, she said. Then my eyes got a teeny bit of wet in them. Because, because... Cause a little, cause a little talk means I'm gonna get yelled at. Yeah, only I tried not to tattletale on you. I said very quick. Cause I didn't want to get get, just I didn't want you to go to jail for stealing grapes. And so I kept it a secret inside my head. And I didn't talk. And Grandma Miller thought a dead cat got my tongue. Only today Lucille said my head was gonna blow. And so that's how come I needed to run in the nurse for a bandit. And she took me to principal, and then my secret accidentally slipped out of my lips. Mrs. Mrs. dried my eyes with a tissue. It's okay, Junie B., she said. I'm not angry at you. I just need to know what you saw what you saw me do at the grocery store. Can I tell you can can you tell me what you saw? Then Then she said the word exact exactly. I made my voice very whispered. I exactly saw you eat, eat grapes, I told her. Except for you didn't pay the store man for them. And you put them in your mouth and ate them. And, and that is called the word of stealing, I think. 
After that, I had in my head under my skirt again. You don't have to hide, you bee. She, she said this is. I'm the one who should be hiding. I'm the one who took the grapes. I peeked over my eyes. Well, I peeked my eyes over my skirt at her. Then Mrs. did a little smile. And she explained all that would happen. Two weeks ago, I bought some grapes at the grocery store, she said. But when I got home, I discovered that they were sour. No one in my family would eat them. So this week, when my husband and I went back to the store, I thought I'd be smart to taste a couple of grapes. Before I bought them, I raised my eyebrow. Is that the rules? I asked very quiet. Miss shook her head. No, she said. That's not the rules. I should have told the grocery store man my, about my sour grapes. Then I should have asked him if I could sample one or two. But I didn't do that. And it was right of you to worry when you saw me eating them without paying for them. I was? I asked. Mrs. Mild again. Of course it was, she said. It shows you that you're the that it shows you know right from wrong. It also shows that teacher teachers te teachers make mistakes like everybody else. Teachers aren't perfect, baby. No one is perfect. After that, I felt relief in me. Cause cause because of no more secrets, that's why. You only guess what else I saw, I said, very happy. I saw you and, and your strange man do a smoochy kiss. And it was right in front of the whole entire everybody. Only you didn't even know I was spying on you. Because I'm not actually allowed to do that sneaky thing. Only my mother never even find it out. I smiled very proud of myself. Except for Mrs. and then smiled back. And Principal, and principal didn't smile back too. Because guess what? Another secret slipped out. That's why. That's the end of chapter 7.